I think one of the most powerful tools that I took away from this was um, listening prayer. It's um, something where when you're praying for someone, John and Sue trained us to just be still and ask the Lord to bring verses of scripture or pictures or words to mind to speak over them in blessing and encouragement. And so we practiced that everywhere we went. We prayed over our team every night. We practiced that when we uh, went to the women's retreats and the Bible studies. We did that some in the schools. And it was just really powerful because a lot of times when we were praying, especially at the events, we didn't know anything about the person that we were praying for. And so you're going, Lord, how do I pray for them? And they may be asking that they, you know, pass their exam in school, and I know you have more to do in their heart. So you just, he would bring scripture to mind. He would say things like, you know, pray Isaiah 61 over them. Or like one girl, specifically at the retreat, I just had this picture of a garden, and she was a butterfly that had been, you know, God was growing beautiful things in her life, and she was free to fly. And I think in that country where there's so much, um, there's just no hope, and there's a lot of hopelessness, and there's not a lot of respect for the women, and they're just put down. She just looked up and was weeping. I think that meant a lot to her, and I had no idea what her story was. But it was so cool to see the Lord connect to her when you open your mouth just because you're willing to listen to Him. And... Um, it just and it even ministered to the team because we would do that for each other and just um, gosh I had people pray things over me that were just um, really special um, just affirmation of who I was and how God would see me um, yeah it was just powerful stuff.